secrets to a quality life. What does it mean to have a quality life? Is it about wealth or prosperity? Kakpa Baby in this series titled Secrets to a Quality Life gives an insight on the quality of life from God's perspective. It is easy to assume that once you have things you'll enjoy them, but it's not true. If God doesn't give you that power, you can never enjoy it. Place your order on Facebook by posting order at the comment section or message window. This message is brought to you by the friends and partners of Kakrabaden. Welcome to Air Power with Kakrabaden, teaching the nations with signs and wonders. Kakra is the senior pastor of the Catch the Anointing Center, Accra, Ghana. Now, today's message. Welcome to today's broadcast. Kakra began an uplifting message titled Inexorability. Yesterday, he explained that life is war, and one of the levels on which we fight this war is spiritual. Today, he speaks about the second, third, and fourth levels of war. Let's join in. Now, apart from fighting spirit, the second level of the war is that the war is also physical. Physically, we are fighting. You know, even to, 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 to eat, to eat, pay your rent, pay your mortgage, whatever it is, clothe yourself physically, it's difficult, it's a war. It's like you are fighting something. And in this time of coronavirus, I mean, a lot of people write to me, they say, Pastor, economically we are down. And it's as if poverty is having the upper hand. In Jesus' name, I pray that in your fight, poverty will never have the upper hand. I break the power of poverty in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say amen. amen. So it, it tells you that this fight is also on a natural level. It's a perpetual fight. And it seems it, it doesn't end. It continues till you die. The third level of this fight is that when you want to achieve something, you have to fight. There is no achievement that does not require a fight. Anytime you want to move forward, you want, to, you, you want to achieve something, immediately you face resistance. Even assuming you want to run, even the wind itself starts resisting you. Do you know that when an aircraft is about to take off, the friction between the wind and the, and the surface of the aircraft, the heat that is produced, it is so high that if it were a human being, it would burn you up. You would just go up in flames. That's what will happen to you. So even the wind, depending on how fast you want to run, will fight you. So you want to achieve something, it's not easy. As, assuming even you, you, you want to get married, it's not easy to get married. I mean, the girl that you love, there may be about five people telling that same girl that they love her. So you've got to fight to win the love of your wife, of your life. I, I remember David, you know, somebody like David. David married Michael, David's daughter. But he didn't get it for free. He got it through a fight. First Samuel 17, verse 26, David said, What shall be done to the man that killeth this Philistine? He said, If I kill this Philistine, what shall I get? 24, you find the answer. They said, The man that shall kill him, the king will enrich him with great riches and give him his daughter. Sometimes there are some women, they are guarded by giants financial giants. You are walking to visit them. The person who is also coming to also propose to uh, the same woman is coming with the latest Mercedes. And you are coming on your bicycle. You just saw your giant. You have to slay him. So even to achieve your dreams is not easy. It, 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 it's a fight even to achieve something. Then apart from that, the fourth level of this war there are things that fight against us. That one is just coming against you, whether you like it or not. It makes me remember the words of Paul in 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 8. He said, I will not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning the trouble that came to us in Asia. He said, this trouble, we didn't go looking for it. He said, it came to us. I remember once I, I, I went to church and I came back and I was attacked by armed robbers. Before I realized, my, my, my car was surrounded by robbers. But I thank God that he delivered me. Nothing happened to me. They didn't touch me. They didn't do anything. Actually, even the things that they took, I recovered it. I recovered, I recovered it back. So God was gracious. 
But one thing I learned was that I learned about the protection of God and the love of God. So this fight is a multi-level fight. It's on every level. Even your health, sometimes diseases like Corona just come and fight against you. And you must be able to overcome the problems that come and fight you on the fourth level. That's why if you are sick, let me give, some, give you some advice. Fight back. Don't just lie down. Fight back. Otherwise, the sickness will stay, take root, become a tree, and live there. You must never stop fighting it if that sickness will not stop fighting you. Thanks for joining us. Today we learned that life is war and we fight on four levels. Spiritually, physically, fighting to achieve something, and fourth, things that just seem to come against you. Join us same time tomorrow as Capra continues this powerful message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. I am pregnant. Dear Kakra, I sent you a prayer request concerning the fruit of the womb and you replied that you had prayed for me. I testify to the glory of God that I am two months pregnant according to the medical scan. God bless you. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 790 10. Send an email to info at .org. You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you.